Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CCI Voice Instructor at VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular lab, I'm going to show you how single number reach is configured. Single number reach is one of the most important and probably most uh, attractive feature of Call Manager. It allows your phone, a desk phone to ring at the same time your cell phone, home phone, your branch office phone or pager, for example, to ring all simultaneously. Very useful function for salespeople who are always on the road. Now the first thing I'm going to verify is to make sure my desk phone, let's assume 3005 is my desk phone, is able to reach the PSTN phone or my mobile or home phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial a PSTN number just to verify this. Call is connected to PSTN. Okay, so next step is to configure single number reach. So first of all, I need to create a soft key template. Be based on standard user. I'll call it SNR. Once the soft key template has been created, you need to configure the layout. And what we're trying to do is add the mobility key when the call is off on hook and as well as when it goes to connected state we also want to add the mobility key there as well. Let's bring this up right maybe the third one Okay, this is a new soft, newly created soft key template, so we don't really need to apply a reset. So next step is to open the IP communicator phone and apply the soft key template. The standard user with SNR. Once the soft key template is created, you can reset this. Next step is to create a user account. So I can use Cisco if I want to. So let's use Cisco. So make sure Cisco is associated with that uh, IP communicator. Okay, it seems to be associated with all my IP communicator. Next, I will create under device settings what we call the remote destination profile. We will call this as a, as a sales guy. User ID, Cisco, device pool, HQ, calling source page as, you know, as usual. So rerouting is very important because you may need to reroute the call and therefore it requires calling source space with the privilege click on save and then on the left hand side I will create and add new DN now DN should be the same as your extension if your physical phone belongs to uh, internal extensions or uh, partitions it must be defined that as accordingly so I'm going to verify that by going to my IP communicator phone and making sure my extension does not belong to any partition therefore is good okay so while I am here on the physical phone of my IP communicator I will select the owner ID being Cisco okay going back to the user go to the section you notice how the remote destination profile has been selected I must select device mobility and enable voice access and I can define the primary phone which will be the MAC address of this phone uh, 230 230 and save 
Now under device I must create uh, I must go back to the remote destination profile and right below where it says add new remote destination I will call this my cell number will be 9501 mobile connect it will give you a little bit of warning saying that in order to enable those two features that these two features must be enabled on the user it's, and that's exactly what we did in the previous screen so save now it is very important you click on this line association Okay, once this is done, going back to the remote destination profile, so this is the profile of the individuals, this is the extension that's going to ring 3005 and this is the phone number is going to ring along with this desk phone. So let's see what happened, this is my phone this is the let's assume this is going to be the caller and that's my home phone right there okay let's see if it works 3005 I'm going to dial I'm going to let it ring and as you notice I let it ring it also ringing on my PSTN so I have to verify why the PSTN did not work So let's uh, try to dial this number on the PSTN. Let's see why the call did not work. Maybe this person oh, should be allowed to dial because the call actually did went through. I'm going to use an IP phone so that I can actually hear what's going on. So I'm going to open IP Blue itself, not the configuration wizard. So it's trying to it is hitting the PSTN, but for some reason my PSTN is rejecting the call. Okay, so I will troubleshoot in a minute. So let's on the on the phone physical phone where my SNR is activated. You notice the soft key template where it says mobility. If you click on this, you have the options. It says no, you are not valid mobile user. Okay. So let's uh, make sure fix that problem first. One user is associated. Maybe I forgot to reset the phone when I assigned the user. I did select Cisco. Let's reset this. I think I did not reset it. Everything else looks pretty good. There you go. That was the reason. It was not reset. So as you notice, it's disable mobile connect. If I option, if I select this option, it will disable my SNR. If I click on this option, it will enable SNR. Now, what I'm going to do is just to make things uh, keep it simple uh, without too much troubleshooting right now. The remote destination, I will change that to another phone. So let's say two zero zero two. So what will happen is it's going to ring this phone as well. So I'll keep this phone open. So from here I'll redial. The 
a call should come here as well at some point. Okay, that didn't work either. So let's troubleshoot again. Okay, so I found the problem. There was an issue with my PSTN. The, my PSTN phone was uh, set to auto answer. So that's why the call keep uh, bouncing back from that phone. So I'll read that again. So 3005. As you can see, it's ringing this phone as well as the, on the PSTN screen. So I can answer the call on the PSTN. So right now my IP blue is communicating with my PSTN even though I dialed IP blue. So if I if my PSTN hand uh, hang, hand end the call, I have the options to resume the call on my IP blue. Sorry, IP communicator. So if I and if I click on end here, it will disconnect the call. Or I have the options to click on send the calls to mobile phone which will send it back to the PSTN. So all of this without disconnecting, disconnecting the call at all. Okay, so that's the power of single number reach. So you hang up on the PSTN as it's like you're hanging up on your cell phone. You're picking up the call. Well, you answer the call first. You're done with the call. On here you can say resume and the call will come back to your desk phone.